Hey everybody and happy Monday! Our graphic novel for this week is the first volume of the Saturn Apartment series by Heisei Iwaoka. In this story, humanity has left Earth behind in order to preserve it and has taken to the sky in this giant ring-like structure uh, 35 kilometers above Earth's surface. No one is allowed back to the surface of Earth in order to preserve it. Now humanity yes. lives in this giant ring, kind of like the Ring of Saturn, hence Saturn Apartments as the name. You get it? Anyway, that's where they live. It is huge and massive and there are different floors and where you live and which floor you live on determines your social standing in this new society. Now. The protagonist of the story is Mitsu, a recent junior high graduate and son of a lowly window washer who has disappeared and presumed dead. Um, Mitsu, following in his presumed dead father's footsteps, ends up taking a job as a window washer. It's a very dangerous job in which you're not paid very much, you have to put on a spacesuit basically and go wash the exterior of the giant ring-like structure. Um, depending on where you are, um, you can pay to have your windows washed so those on the upper levels have all the access to the earth views and the natural light, whereas those on the lower levels really can't afford to have their windows washed unless it's a special circumstance and they save up for ages and ages. That's basically the premise of the novel so far. It's more of a slow paced well character driven and world based sci-fi you get to see a lot of little vignettes of life inside the saturn apartments and introduced to a bunch of different interesting characters there's some drama with um mitsu sort of figuring out his path in life and trying to find out more about his father who he feels abandoned him and he's sort of trying to figure out who his father was as a person he didn't really know him that well is the sense i'm getting and there's some more um plot points towards the end which we'll probably pick up later in the series i'm looking forward to seeing them develop for instance i don't want to spoil anything but uh, a dangerous job. Can't machines do it better? I think that'll come up later. Anyway, if you are into a more slow-paced atmospheric sci-fi, I highly recommend this book. It has a lot of heart and interesting characters, and I think the premise is just really interesting. If that sounds good, then check out the first volume of Saturn Apartments. Like I said, I can't wait to read the rest of the series. Anyway, that's it for this week. Stay tuned for Teen Book Tuesday tomorrow, and have a great day. Bye!